So you just bought your first audio interface and you want to know how to connect it to your Mac and your DAW? Well, let's get it. This video, I'm going to be teaching you one, how to connect your audio interface to your Mac and second, how to connect your audio interface to your DAW. Let's get it. The audio interface that we're taking a look at today, it's the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 third generation USB interface, which 2i2 stands for two inputs and two outputs. If you see, I have my left, well, I have my right and my left, and I got my two slots to put my mic, or if I wanted to put a DI, I could do that as well. These are our gain knobs, AKA our mic pre's. Here, we have a pretty big knob for our monitors. If you wanted to connect your speakers, this would go off for your speakers. And if you have headphones, this is your headphone monitors right here. So you also have your 48 volts right here. This needs to be turned on if you're connecting a condenser mic, if you are just connecting a straight up dynamic mic, you do not need to press the 48 volts since dynamic mics do not need 48 volts. This is only required for a condenser mic. So if you do not know what kind of mic you have, please read it. Or if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I will definitely help you guys out. But let's definitely connect this and see how it goes. All right, to connect our USB audio interface, we're going to need to power this on. To do this, we're going to have to put in the USB that was in the box provided to us. It is going to be the USB-C to USB 2.0. There we go. So next you're going to need a USB hub. This is a USB-C to USB 3.0. Let's connect this. And the next thing we need to do is connect this to our computer. Now we should see some power. So we know it's definitely on since I pressed that ear last time, I can turn this off. Okay, let's see what happens on our computer. Okay, so as soon as you connect your audio interface, you should be prompted to this screen. Here, we can select which audio interface we have. Since I have the Scarlett third generation, I'm gonna click here. Next step, it's gonna ask me which model do I have. So the one I have, or if you have the same one, it's going to be the Scarlett 2i2. Make sure it's not the studio, it's just a regular 2i2. Click here. So once you're on this page, click here that says, let's get you started. Create your account. If you've never been to their website and this is your first time on their website, please make sure you go ahead and create your account. So that way you can download all the software that your box comes with. It also comes with two free plugins. So if you don't know anything about plugins or if you're just starting, this is a great way to go. It actually gives you two free ones. I believe it's an EQ and a compressor that you get for free. So make sure you create your account, go down, and if you have nothing to make your music on, like no DAW, if you have a Mac, it does come with GarageBand, but if you want to expand on something new, something advanced, Ableton Live and Pro Tools First is included with your Scarlett 2i2. I will be making a video on how to install Pro Tools, how to run Pro Tools, all those good stuff. That's going to be on my next coming up videos. So down here, we're just going to go ahead and click register my Scarlett. So once you're on this page, scroll down. This will ask you for your serial number. If you do not know where this is located, just go ahead and pick up your box and turn it around. It should be all the way at the bottom where it has all your logo information. It should be in white. You're not going to miss it. So just go ahead and enter that. Once you've completed that, this will take you to this page where we can download our focus right control. Go ahead and click download. Just follow these steps step by step. You can also press continue. This already knows that I was here. Let's get started. Let's just press next, see what happens. Setting up your audio into your operating system. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. You can just press next. So I am listening with headphones and I'm listening with headphones and speakers. So if you're only going to be working with a podcast and not really having any monitors, just go ahead and click I am listening with headphones. And if you're like me that has your own speakers and going to be listening with headphones, go ahead and click speakers and headphones. Download Ableton download Pro Tools first, or I don't need a DAW. You can do any one of these ones. I don't need one. I've already installed it. So click next. Need help setting up your Scarlet in your DAW? No, thank you. Cause I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. Next, you will see up and running with your Scarlet. If it's good to go and if it's working, just go ahead and press the check. And if it's not working and if you have to press the check for some reason, go ahead and just run through the settings again. And if you still can't figure it out, please feel free to comment down below. I will definitely help you and I will answer all your questions. So for me, I'm just gonna press check because I know it's working and we're good. So if you see up here, now if I go into my sound, you will see my Scarlett 2i2 right here. Now it's time to connect it to our DAW, the fun stuff. So as soon as I launched Logic Pro, it shows me that I'm already connected to my Scarlett 2i2 as my audio input and my output. 
But what if it was not showing me that? What if it was showing me a different interface? What if I had to change it? We're going to go into logic, go into preference, go into audio. So here it will show you your output device and your input device. Currently we are connected to the 2i2, but let's say if I wanted to switch between the 2i2 and the K6 that I have connected, I can just click here, press complete audio K6. That would be same thing with my output and my input. And you can just go ahead and click apply. Just like that, you have installed your audio interface to your MacBook and got it working to your DAW. For some reason, if you were not able to get it installed or if it did not work with your DAW, please go ahead and comment down below. I will definitely try to help you guys out. And if you have any other questions audio related, if you want to know about plugins, headphones, speakers, anything, please go ahead and message me, comment down below. I will get back to you guys. If you thought this video was helpful, please go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe because I will be posting more videos just like this one. My next video is going to be on how to install Pro Tools. Make sure you do look out for that as well. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, take care.